Uh, I tried to doodle on this, try to show you what I would do. See, I can't tell, but I would make a pretty good guess that the area between here and here is convex and it's outward. So the whole point is if this thing is, just say we're looking at a side view of the tire here. And uh, the way it looks to me here, it's like, and again, I am no scientist or expert, but I know how things, well, I think I have a good understanding of how things work or a basic understanding. Uh, so if these two lines here, if I were to illustrate on the side view, if I'm looking at this right, I'm assuming these would be kind of like, oh, look at me, hit the wrong thing. It would kind of like be a node, a node, a node, a node, a node, 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 something like that. Not counting what's on the back side. So the problem is, the game don't use collisions for sides, like the, the faces, the triangular faces, or the quads, or whatever. It's not touching there. What's going to touch is where this touches another node and beam. Think of like, think of your mesh as a wireframe, basically. Where would the wireframe touch? Where would the vertices touch? Think of like the only things that make contact are the vertices and the edges. If you're talking like in Blender, you're talking about the edge, the line that connects two nodes or vertices. So for this to seem to probably work, you'd probably have to have, damn it. You'd probably have to have, you'd probably have to have one here, 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 here. Uh, that way, that's you want to. You want what you want is you want some on the outermost point, on both sides of the tire, so that it has something that it can lay against and make contact with. If you don't have this walls are just going to go inside of one another until the first node and vertices met. I made a quick demo of this. I, uh, I tried to uh, illustrate what happens here and uh, I can kind of show you how the mine turned out. I mean, it's not perfect. Yeah, I should have already had it loaded. I know, I know, I know, I know it, man. I know it. This little quick tire. So if I look at it, it's beams and nodes. See, there's not a part that's convex that's out more so than... You see what I'm saying? See, that's all I was trying to say is if there is an area that's taller that would be the area that you're going to want to have um, make contact because if you have these like say a tire on the tire and you see they didn't rest right the top on one of another like you would think they would Let's see I'm not quite sure why that didn't touch that but you see it did touch it it's just it's like a hairline it's a, just a hairline like you know you don't have much room for it to make contact 
and if it's off, it's going to go through. Your tires aren't going to go through one another. Uh, they're not going to stack up right. I remember Agent Y telling me that it was a pain in the butt for them to make uh, tire stack mods for that reason. So that's what you'd have to consider. Uh, like, yeah, I know there's a node and a beam running through there, but apparently it's the damn nodes that actually touch. A node has to touch a beam to make contact, or, uh, but a beam and a beam doesn't make contacts. It's actually the node that touches a beam that makes the contact. So if you're making a tire, I'd be very thankful, thinking, think in the way that you would need these on the outside edge so that they can make contact if you stacking tires 